Hey kids, do you like inventions, inventors and robots? Today we are going to read a book called Wendell's Workshop by Chris Riddle. Wendell's Workshop Wendell was an inventor. Sometimes his inventions worked perfectly and sometimes they didn't. When they didn't, Wendell just threw them away and started again. Wendell invented all day and into the night. Sometimes he was so busy inventing, he forgot to go to bed and he never had time to tidy up. Wendell's workshop became untidier and untidier and untidier. I need some help, said Wendell to himself. So Wendell invented a robot. I'll call you Clunk, said Wendell. Clunk set to work tidying Wendell's workshop. Clunk, clunk, clunk. He made the bed, folded the clothes and mopped the floor. Oh dear, said Wendell. Clunk tried harder. He put the teacups in the sock drawer and filled the laundry basket with umbrellas. This isn't working, said Wendell. So he threw Clunk down the rubbish chute, Clunk, and out onto the scrap heap. Inside the workshop, Wendell was inventing a new robot. He worked all night and into the morning. At last, it was finished. I'll call you Wendelbot, said Wendell. Tidy, said the Wendelbot, its red eyes glowing. Tidy and it set to work. The Wendelbot worked perfectly. Wendell was very pleased. But the Wendelbot didn't stop. Its red eyes glowed as it unmade the bed into a neat bundle and crushed the teacups to a tidy pile of powder. Tidy, the Wendelbot said as it shredded the umbrellas and flattened the laundry basket. Tidy, soon everything was neat and tidy. All except one thing. Tidy, cried the Wendelbot as it chased Wendel round the workshop. Help, squeaked Wendel as he shot down the rubbish chute and out onto the scrap heap. Then from quite close by, Wendell heard a clunk. Clunk. I'm so pleased to see you, said Wendell. From inside the workshop, the noise of the Wendelbots hammering and bashing grew louder and louder. We need some help, said Wendell, but all we've got is rubbish. Clunk reached down and handed Wendell an interesting piece of scrap. Wendell smiled and then he began to invent. All day and into the night, Wendell and Clunk were hard at work. As the sun rose, the hammering and bashing from, the Wendell's, from Wendell's workshop stopped. Workshop tidy, said the Wendelbot. It turned its glowing red eyes towards the window. Now, tidy world! The Wendelbot strode across the workshop and threw open the door. Good morning, said Wendell. The Wendelbot's eyes glowed red. Tidy, it said. Untidy, untidy, Wendell and his robot helpers shouted as they ran inside. Tidy, cried the Wendelbot, lumbering after them. But the robots were too quick for it. The Wendelbot's eyes glowed brighter and brighter as Wendell's workshop grew untidier and untidier. Tidy bang! When the dust had settled, Wendell sighed. Now we'll have to tidy up again, he said. But not too much this time. All the robots helped in their different ways. Not everything worked perfectly, but Wendell didn't mind. 
He just smiled, patched this, mended that and made adjustments here and there. But there was one thing he didn't do. Wendell never threw anything on the scrap heap again. Still doing the wrong thing, but who cares? So, you'll always learn something every day. I think Wendell learned an important lesson to reuse and recycle and not to throw everything just because they don't work once, right? If you like this video, do hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.